Okay, so once again, you are watching Northwoods Discovery on YouTube. Thank you very much. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, we're getting into the segments where I'm going to be working on jet skis, both stand up and sit down. Once I get enough of them on here and enough people are watching them, I might put them into their own playlist and or into their own channel. So what I bought was a 1988 stand up Kawasaki 650SX. And I also bought a 1997 three seater sit down Polaris 780. So I'm going to go over how to, how to get registration numbers, how to space them, how to put them on, how to measure and make them look professional, and a few of the guidelines of why you need to have this stuff done right, looking right, and done on time before you hit the water. So here's an example of what not to do. You need to follow the guidelines because just like on a police um, stop, if your taillight is out, they can stop you and give you a ticket. Um, if they see that this isn't done right, they can stop you and give you a ticket. If you don't have current registration, you're stopped. Um, they might not stop you for it being put on wrong, but they have every right to, and sometimes the tickets are well over $200. Um, what they did wrong was they only have about an inch there, about an inch there, and about one and a half inches there. By law, you have to have two inches here, be spacing it, two inches here, and three inches here. So I'm in the process of making this side correct. Um, like I said, two inches, two inches, three inches, and it worked out really well. The, the leftover letters from my other ski fit this one, and they kind of match the blue on the handles and on the stickers. Um, and what I did to get the other ones off was they were kind of peeling like this. So all I did was peel all the letters off, all of their letters off as much as I could. And then I sprayed goof off onto just a paper towel. And I just saturated, saturated, saturated. And then all you do is just keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. And it gets kind of a gooey residue. And then I used, um, isopropyl alcohol and another clean rag and I just scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed until it was clean and then it was very clean for that to stick on. Now if you don't have a line um, like the baseline, I don't want to go on this baseline for this jet ski. It's got a white um, custom paint job and blue. I wanted to make this look really nice so I got matching blue letters. Um, little bit of a script to it. You can't have cursive, it has to be black letters. But I didn't want straight black, straight edge. Um, and I didn't want to follow this. I wanted it to look like we had uh, taken some time to do it. So we just used a roll of duct tape. And what we did was we found out where it had to start in order to have enough room for this sticker so that it would look familiar to have the registration sticker when we get it. Now, by the way, you can ride this thing without the registration sticker as long as you have proof that this is certified, registered, whatever. You can have pictures on your phone or paperwork printed out. You can do it online or you can go to the DMV office. It was like 35 bucks for a year. The other one had numbers already, so I just transferred them for three and a half dollars. Very cheap. Make sure you get it done. Tickets are expensive. I'll keep saying that. So we just started with the piece of tape. We put the edge where we wanted it to start. And obviously we started it there. And I just took an old, dirty construction level. And as I held that first side of the tape and the level, my wife held the other side of the tape and we went up and down until we were level. And then she pushed that tape tight. And then we just pushed really hard and we had our straight line. And we stepped back and we we're like, yeah, that's really straight. Um, I'll show you what I did on the stickers on how to apply them. One moment. So once you figure out what numbers you need, um, you just peel off the bottom of it and you get that put right on the line. You get the very bottom and you put it right on the line. Oops, came off this thing already, which is fine, but you want to push down and you step back and you're like, oh, is that straight? Is that not straight? And then you push up to make sure there's no bubbles. Let me get you closer in here. Then you just push straight up and you wanna just keep pushing, pushing, pushing until you're out at the end. I'm not gonna push it all the way on because I don't want that one to stay there. But you just keep pushing, get all the wrinkles and all the bubbles out. Then it comes off if you make a mistake and you can start over.
So even though you can't see both the left side and the right side at the same time, I wanted it to look professional. I wanted it to look the same. So, you know, we started at the same point, had our two inches, same spacing, two inches, same spacing. And I'm like, uh oh, <laughs> this little port is not on the other side. And we lucked out. You're supposed to, we have three inch spacing on the other one. So one, two, three, our registration sticker is going to start right here and go across. So it will still look amazing. So we went to Cabela's slash Bass Pro Shop, and this is what we bought. You get a pack of a ton of them for 16 or 17 bucks. And they have four of each letter and each number in there. And then they also come with black dashes if you want to have dashes in between the two inches um, to make sure they know that you're legit. Um, I chose not to put the dashes because by law you don't have to have them. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to try and do a channel or a playlist. Obviously some videos of jet ski fixing, um, general ideas. If you have any questions, if you didn't like how it turned out, if you couldn't see what I did, comment. I'll redo the video. I'll make another video. And like I said, subscribe, like, and comment. That would be amazing. Thank you very much.